Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay Smith Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Town Hall 3 Boating Upgrade Guide. This is going to be my personal recommendations of what I think is the best and most efficient way to upgrade. I'm going to be creating a separate guide on what to upgrade in the laboratory because that also gets unlocked at this Town Hall. So stay tuned for that in the future. This is going to be a bit of a shorter video, but it's going to be packed with value. But before we get into the first clip, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. When you actually leave a like or comment, it really helps my content get noticed by the YouTube algorithm so I can grow. And rumor has it, if you leave a like, chances are you will not get the coronavirus. So please be careful out there. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's get into it. So there's one thing that I really just want to talk about before we get into the full list, and that is you have a limited amount of gems and a lot of people who may be watching this video are gonna be free to play. So don't spend your gems to basically buy the new buildings and basically upgrade buildings until you have got more builders. Um, so basically what you're gonna to need to do is complete these challenges and you're going to be able to, as you go on, you're going to be able to get the gems in a bigger abundance and just easier as you play the game. So save your gems. Don't waste them on building stuff. Just wait till you can get the builders and get all five builders as soon as you can. It is very possible and not that hard to get them for free. So by all means, just want to preframe with that. So number one on the list. So the first upgrade is the clan castle. Uh, it takes $10,000, which I'm actually gonna do right now so gonna go ahead and do that I might make a clan for this account and I, I'll, guide, I'll keep you guys posted on that so why this is number one is because clan castle at this town hall level especially uh, high level clan castle troops can not only help you defend but it can help your attacking immensely so clan castle you can basically you can get donated troops you can also donate troops to other people and depending on what type of clan you join and what types of troop they're donate, troops they're donating, they can help you win raids basically for free depending on what they give you. So it's just an awesome tool to have, really helpful, and honestly, it just can't go without it. So after you have the clan castle, the next thing that I would do is actually start placing down all the new buildings. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and place some of these down in the video but I probably will run out of builders and just stuff to put down as we go through this. So, the number two is to, as soon as you've upgraded to Town Hall 3, is that you should focus on building everything possible so that way you can just have everything laid out. So, after you have everything built, what I would do next is I would start upgrading the army camps. And why I say that is because army camps are incredibly important in the fact that you, can have more troops to attack with and it just makes the game so much easier to attack when you have more troops and so after the army camps what I would upgrade next is actually the barracks and the barracks I say that because the barracks gives you the ability to get better troops and it actually trains troops at a faster time the next thing that I would do is I would start working on the production side of things and what I mean by that is actually doing the elixir collectors and the gold mines so the reason i say that and the reason i have the order in the way it is is because offense should always be first uh, you always want to place on the new buildings then work on your offense that way you can farm easier and just progress faster because waiting for the collectors uh takes time but attacking a base and getting a decent amount of loot does not take that much time at all so after you've upgraded your elixir collectors and gold mines, then I would do your gold storages. I'm actually gonna leave a list of all the things and just the list in order of what I would upgrade at the end of the video, so feel free to screenshot that. So upgrade the storages, that's just gonna be able to let, help you upgrade your town hall, upgrade the buildings, and just hold the loot that you farm. And then after that, I would do a round of upgrading the defenses. So that would be upgrading the archer tower, the cannons, and the new buildings you have in here, like the the new mortar, the traps, stuff like that. So after that, I would upgrade all the walls to max. Walls are very important. You're you're getting some more at Town Hall three. So upgrade those walls. Um, as I said max. You can upgrade them as high as you'd like, but honestly walls are pretty easy to do to an extent here 
So go ahead and focus on that. After your wall is upgraded, I would go ahead and upgrade your def defenses to max. And like I said, guys, this is just my personal preference. And I'm just a big offense over defense type of guy. This, there, everyone has a different play style, but in my personal preference, if this is the most, this is the fastest way you could upgrade your base possible. And so after you've upgraded all your defenses, the last thing that you end, will end up upgrading is actually your traps. So after you've upgraded your traps at level at Town Hall level three, then you can go ahead and up, upgrade to Town Hall level four. You obviously don't have to max your base. Uh, you can play this game however you want. This is just my personal opinion on what I think works best. So I'll keep you guys posted if I create a clan for this account that you guys can join and uh, join me on this journey. So keep killing it. Like I said, be kind of a shorter video, guys. And I'll keep you guys posted for the next video. Stay tuned. Please leave a like and subscribe. It really help a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.